My prediction did not come true. Uh, today is March 21, 2020. And the nation is not on lockdown. Yeah, my prediction didn't come true. I predicted it would be yesterday. So I was wrong. I was wrong. So if you want to give me that finger or whatever you want to say, do it right now. Go ahead. I'll take the beatings. Whatever you see. So <clears throat> this is what I found out, though. There's a reason why the federal government did not go on a lockdown. So you may be, if you're in the USA, this is how it is. You may be in a, live in a place where it is spreading like wildfire. And you may be living in a place where there's no cases. And you're like, what the hell? Like one uh, viewer said that, told me to put my phone down because I'm being fooled by the government and get off my phone. I got uh, one word for you. Not one word. It might be multiple words. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it for next, later when the lockdown really happens. Okay, so um, the prediction wise, I'm kind of glad that it didn't happen. So number one, whenever I predict something, I hope it doesn't happen. But then again, I wish it did happen. Okay. So the reason why the government did not go on a lockdown is because it's, there's not enough cases. Okay. Uh, New York, uh, California, or San Francisco, Illinois, Pennsylvania, they went on a lockdown. But like New York is really, really big, it's growing really fast. So if you live in, I don't know, Montana or Idaho or. You know, somewhere there's nothing going on. It's like, why should federal government go on a na nationwide lockdown when there's nothing over at your place, but there's something going crazy in Seattle, you know, for example. But that's the reason why. So basically, unfortunate for the people living here is they want to see more of us dead more of us infected do you get this because because there are not enough cases not enough tragedies the government is not going to go on a lockdown so i guess whatever you can applaud yourself that there is no lockdown and i was wrong blah 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 you can be happy with your life so i guess they just got to wait for you know somebody in your family to get sick or somebody in your family to die and they might start considering it a little bit more uh, cases are rising death toll is rising around the whole world it's over 140 countries that now have coronavirus uh, that's probably under under what reality is all the case numbers all the death is still the numbers that we're getting is still under what reality is okay so Maybe very, very few countries are reporting the truth, but a lot of it, countries are not reporting everything the truth. So, you know, what you're seeing is just part of it, percentages, you know. But, I mean, Italy is going crazy over there. Another massive, massive terminated lives. Um, you know, luckily for the U.S., or I guess what we're seeing in the U.S. is not a lot, not a lot, not a lot of deaths. So they're not going on a lockdown. But I don't know if this that's good for you or bad for you. You know, you guys be the judge of it. But when they do, you know what I'm gonna say? There's gonna be some more words coming out because I know you throw f bombs at me right now. So when I, when it's my turn, trust me. I can throw the bomb a lot faster and a lot harder and many more because I love the F-bomb. So, that's what's happening. So, it's Saturday, March 21, 2020, and we're still not on lockdown. I don't know why the Washington State governor didn't put Washington on lockdown, but, you know, the government and all these people, they try to say... That only way for this invisible enemy to die or go away is for everybody to quarantine themselves and stop the spread of this virus. Well, how do you do that when you don't lock down? So they're saying this, but they're doing that. 
I, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. Um, you know, most for most of us, it hasn't impacted our lives as far as anybody getting it or anybody being hurt by it. So, um, a lot of us think it's nothing's wrong. Uh, there's a lot of layoffs going on. Unemployment is going to skyrocket. Um, I predict over 20% easy. Um, people are not going to be able to make their rent and mortgages if the government doesn't do anything with the banks to work with the consumers. I mean, it's, it's going to trickle down to hurting everybody. Everybody's affected, but if we don't go on a lockdown, it's going to keep spreading. And it's not going to stop. And I don't know what can happen, but you can be the, you can use your brains for that. Okay. But overall is I was wrong. My prediction was wrong, but I know why the government made the decisions on that. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, here in Washington state, um, there are less and less cars on the road now, but you know, like the last couple of days, it's been really nice and sunny. So you go to certain areas, people are playing outside, playing at parks, um, like nothing's wrong. But obviously, there's still less people because half the population are worried about what's going on, and half the people don't give a damn. So I, I guess you know you you live that life until something happens to you right so uh it's not reality until somebody you know gets it so be careful out there okay um away stay try to stay away from other people i'm not saying stay home and sit at home and do nothing you can go out go out go for walks and do whatever you want to do but just stay away from people right stay away from others don't touch things and rub your face or whatever um you know wash you know, wash yourselves, wash your clothes when you get back home. Just take major precautions, right? Because you don't want to get it. You don't want to get it. You don't want to give it to nobody. You don't want anybody close to you getting it because that's when it really starts to matter, okay? And you don't want to go through that. So be careful out there. But um, I still predict, I still do predict, mark this, I still do predict that eventually the government will go on lockdown. And they're going to realize that they should have done it yesterday. So, it's what it is. That's the choice that they make. That's what they get paid the big bucks. And that's why they get to uh, lead a country. So, we'll see what happens. But, everybody stay safe. <clears throat> Love all you guys. Thanks for watching. Share if you have to with other people. Uh, hit that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Until next time, always believe in yourself, never give up on your dreams, and you can do anything with God.